Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with our very first makeup tutorial for 2018 and as you all can see I decided to just kick off our you know first um, makeup tutorial this year with kind of a natural neutral looking makeup look like as you all can see I used kind of you know neutral tones, some browns, some moves like you guys i decided to just keep this look really really natural and also neutral and i've been wanting to style my hair like this for such a long time but most times whenever i have a coily hair it's always like maybe 18 inches 20 inches 22 inches so this time i decided to order this hair from samba hair and i have here their malaysian coily wave in Four bundles of 16 inches and a matching 16 inch lace closure like you guys I really wanted something really really short and fluffy and I decided to go with their Malaysian hair the curls on this hair is really giving me life like I love this hair I'm going to show you guys how I was how I was able to achieve this hairstyle you know how I was able to tie this scarf but let me know what you think about this hairstyle because it's been such a long time I've been wanting to style my hair like this and finally like I'm so excited I was able to do it in this makeup tutorial right here but yeah guys I hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you want to see how I came about this gorgeous kind of natural neutral look then definitely keep on watching so this is gonna be our first tutorial for 2018 and I'm so excited you guys and this winter like seriously this winter is not having it easy on my skin and also with the holiday like I went overboard with eating like I ate all sorts of things so it's showing up on my skin so you guys don't mind all these things on my skin so the very first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do will be to apply um, my primer and for today's tutorial I'm gonna be using my Sasha mattifying face primer and of course if you don't know primers are very very important especially when you're applying your makeup because they just help a lot in you know keeping your makeup for a very long time and also if you have an oily skin using a mattifying primer helps to control the amount of oil you produce although with this winter you guys my skin is more on the dry side and it's also flaking which is really really annoying and for my foundation today I'm gonna to be using my Huda Beauty 4 filter foundation and this foundation right here is becoming one of my favorites like the amount of coverage it gives my skin it's it's unbeatable like apart from my my um Kat Von D Lucky Tattoo Foundation that's right here is my second favorite and I'm just gonna pump it you know at the back of my palm and distribute it all over my skin this is so annoying when you try to blend your foundation and your foundation brush just breaks like it just pops off I'm just gonna use it this way <laughs> To be honest, this actually feels better like using a smaller um brush, you know, without the stick. It feels really, really soft and solid on the hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. And you guys, please let me know if you have any recommendations for concealers that are perfect for, you know, a medium or dark skin because I'm so tired of using my LA Girl. I love LA Girl, yes, but like, you know how when you use something for such a long time, you just get tired. I need to get few concealers you know that I will be using so yeah definitely let me know in the comment section if you have any recommendations for concealers and when I'm applying my concealer you guys like I try to keep it right underneath my eyes this is just a trick I recently started doing because I noticed whenever I apply my concealer all the way out like it makes my face look wider and also if you don't know why we highlight it just helps a lot in defining your face and also adding some dimensions because you notice when you apply your foundation like your skin is like it evens out your face but then when you contour and also highlight it kind of helps bring in color and also definition like you know naturally without the makeup and everything your skin you know especially the face it has different you know shadows and when you contour and highlight it just helps bring back all those features you lost when you apply your foundation and also I like to apply my concealer all the way around my mouth because I noticed most times when I just apply my concealer on my under eye my chin and my forehead all this area right here tends to be dark so I just prefer to apply the concealer kind of at the inner you know portion of my face and then I blend it in with my beauty blender and whenever I blend out my concealer I love to take it 
on my lid because sometimes I really don't use the eyeshadow primers because your concealer can also serve as your eyeshadow primer. So to avoid the concealer from creasing, I'm going to go in right away and set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And setting my concealer, it's very very important to me because especially if you have an oily skin, you want to go ahead and set, you know, like any liquid product you use because if you leave it that way, it's definitely going to crease up on your skin. I also take the powder all the way to my lid. Okay, so I always get questions. People always ask me, what is it with me and this powder right here? But this right here, you guys, is becoming one of my favorite powder. Like, even with the high-end brands, I always find myself gravitating towards my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I don't know what it is, but the, the coverage, as in whenever I use this powder, even if I use it alone, it just gives me a very nice full coverage. So I always find myself running back to red, you know, whenever I need to set my face. And to set my whole entire face, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color C6, which is soft sable. And also, whenever I'm setting my whole entire face, I try to avoid all the areas where I applied my concealer because as you guys just saw, I just set that area so it doesn't need any more setting. And also, one thing I love with this powder is the fact that like it's a little bit darker than my skin tone as you all can see. So, it just gives me a very nice flow. I just love it this way, you see. The, the inner portion is kind of light and then the outside portion is a tad bit, you know, darker. What I normally do after I'm done setting the outer portion of my face is to go in with the brush like there is basically nothing here. I just like to run it all on the areas where I applied my setting powder just to make everything blend. You don't want to have any line all over your face like demarcating the darker powder and you know your Sasha setting powder. So I love to just go in with the brush and make sure everything blends. Alright, so I'm going to contour with my Anastasia Contour Powder in Espresso. Woo <laughs> and when you're contouring, you want to keep it right on the hollows of your cheeks. You don't want to take it up or down. You, you pretend as if you're drawing a line from, you know, your ear all the way to your cheeks. If you feel like you applied too much, just go ahead with your powder brush and make sure you blend everything in. And for blush, I'm going to be using MAC Fever. I almost forgot to contour my nose, so I'm going to quickly do that. While contouring my nose, I love to take the contour powder all the way below my brow bone. My palette is so dirty, like... I have powder all over it. So I'm going to be using my MAC Neutral eyeshadow palette for today's tutorial. I'll pick up this shadow right here. I'm not sure what name this is, but I'm going to leave it, you know, on my screen. I'm going to go in with this shadow right here and pop it right on my crease. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with MAC Swiss Chocolate. And I'm simply just placing this below the crease color we just applied. To line my waterline, I'm going to be using Sleek Twister Pencil. I know I look dead because I don't have my brows on. <laughs> so I'm not going to apply any wing liner today, but I will go ahead and tight line my waterline with EM Cosmetics Eyeliner. I love to tight line my waterline especially when I'm wearing lashes because that way it will help you know in hiding any skin when I apply my lashes. I'll apply mascara and I'm using Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. Alright so moving on to the brows because I know I've been looking crazy all throughout this tutorial without my brows and for my brows I'm going to be using my She Makeup Automatic Eyebrow Pencil. One thing I love about this brow pencil is as you all can see like it has an angle to it so it makes it much more easier to apply your um, you know your brow product. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my brows with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Uh, 
I always get asked what lashes I have on whenever I have this on and it's the Salon Perfect 615 lashes. So for highlights, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. Oh my gosh. So for highlights, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. I love to set my brush with a setting spray just to make the inner tear dot highlight pop. So for the lips, I'm going to be lining with NYX Chestnut Lip Liner and this lip combo I'm about to wear in this video is like my favorite, you know, lip combo when it comes to neutral lip. And for lipstick, I'll apply MAC Hug Me. This right here is my favorite like neutral lipstick from MAC. Okay, so I'm going to top up this look with a lip gloss and I'm using Motif Cosmetics Candy Bar Lip Gloss. Alright, so the hair I'm going to be using today is this one from Somba Hair and I actually received this as bundles but I made it into a wig by myself and I have here their Malaysian um, Coily Wave in 16 inches so I have four bundles of their 16 inches and a 16 inch lace closure. When I put it on, it's always on my shoulder level which is what I really wanted so I'm going to be wearing this wig today and as you all can see like it's very very full and the curls oh my god like the curls are giving me life so I'm going to go ahead now and put on this hair like it's vava full it's full yes okay so this is how the hair looks but I want to go in with my hair scalp like I want to tie it up I want it to give me kind of that bouncy you know um curls right on the front so I'm gonna pack it all the way to the front and then go in with my hair scalp I'm gonna go in with my hair scalp and I will fold it into two just like this So I'm just going to tuck in all this leftover material. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video as you all can see like I'm really loving this kind of like, you know, natural looking vibe. Like I'm loving the fact that I just, you know, tied up this hair and then flipped it all the way to the side. Like let me know what you guys think. Yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'm going to link every product I used in this video in my description box alongside this hair in case you guys want to check out Samba hair and till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon.